Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Law Lyette. Why did that why did that do that? Um La Lyette and Sock. This game taking place here on Terranus Stand. Hey Metaphysics, good to good to see you turning in into the game as things are getting underway. Looked like there was a slight pause in the game. Sock perhaps getting a little bit of lag, trying to wait for the spike to go away. And well, it is now gone. Um, what are we going to be looking at in this human versus night elf matchup? Um, well, it seems as of late we see a lot of Moonwell. Um, oh, sorry, thank you, thank you from the for the subscription. Wow, very good morning. Great way to start off a stream with a sub. Um, well, first I would have said that it was going to be a warden versus a perhaps a mountain king, but well, we can already see that Lalayette is not going for an altar of elders. Without the Altar of Elders, it most likely is going to be a Tavern Hero in this matchup. Uh, which Tavern Hero will it be? We'll find out around the 2 minute 15 second mark. Meanwhile, Sok has opened up Altar of Kings about to be completed. And, well, Archmage, Mountain King, both of those would be uh, very, very viable heroes. And it will be that Mountain King. Mountain King much better at trying to shut down a Warden that never that won't be coming out to play today. Um, a little bit sore this morning. Um, yeah, um, a little bit sore this morning. E ended up getting, uh, well, a COVID-19, either a vaccine or a placebo you yesterday. And my arm, um, well, absolutely, absolutely hurts. Um, kept me up a little bit in the in the middle of the night. And well, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping that um, with the soreness in the arm, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Um, yeah, as there's a wisp now hiding in between the two buildings right here. Um, yeah, keeping track of everything. The shot itself was actually less painful than, the, than your typical flu shot. So not quite sure <clears throat> why all of a sudden it's sore so much now. But well, it did keep me up right, right there. Anyways, let's continue to move on our merry way. Hey, nice game this one. Um, have you seen it already, Matt? Matt Tope to boy. Anyways, we'll see what the Tavern Hero, I want to see what Tavern Hero is going to be. There's a 2 minute 15 second mark, and it is going to be a Goblin Alchemist. All right, Goblin Alchemist first, Acid Bomb onto the Rogue Wizard, and now clearing out this particular creep camp in the center. Archers are going to go straight after that footman right there. Perhaps the um, eight or more archers are still being trained up. So this is a split attack right now, as we're going to see this Rogue Wizard get taken down. Claws of Attack plus 6, now picked up by the Alchemist, perhaps going to make its way back off to the north, try to finish off this particular Rogue Wizard as well. Meanwhile, the archers are pelting down the Apprentice Wizards off to the side. More archers are getting trained up. So this particular strategy strategy is, well, an alchemist with an acid bomb to deal a large amount of damage. You can see the rogue wizard is already at negative armor right now. That's why he's actually taking bonus damage. As we see more experience still getting added up, that guy, well, going to get taken down as well. As you see, the alchemist picks up claws of attack plus six and gloves of haste. He will be an attacking machine. Archers, four archers already here, ready, uh, ready to make a bit of a play. Are we going to perhaps see lightning shield? There's that lightning shield as the archer just going to dive on in there. There's an acid bomb across all of those units and damage is just going to get cleared out very fast alchemist is already sitting at level two meanwhile mountain king of sock down across over here sitting at level two as well and also setting up his expansion so expansion is going to be getting underway crystal ball now picked up Ow. Don't move my left hand. Mountain King um, continuing to clear up everything off over here as the Forest Troll Berserker will get taken down. Mountain King will stay, I believe, will end up staying at level 2. Just be a little bit shy of level 3 as the remainder of this creep camp is now cleared up. Oh, nope. I take it back. A one experience over just the right amount. All right, as morning birds are now just making a lot of noise. All right, quickly selling some of those items right there. Not quite sure what he sold, but it was worth 500 gold. Um, or uh, unless my eyes are deceiving me, archers are continuing to fight. There's a staff of teleportation in as the Mountain King going to get it ready to join in on this fight here. Chemical Rage going to be able to get in a lot of damage onto that Mountain King. Mountain King trying to back away. Chemical Raging um, Alchemist able to deal a lot of damage. There is an acid bomb there. Footman actually getting in harm's way as the Alchemist while well, getting in some damage here. Mountain King only down to one armor right now during this fight as he is taking a little bit of damage over time however the alchemist is only sitting at level two not yet at level three doesn't have the stronger the stronger acid bomb at all as the forest troll berserkers and archers trying to give that last bit of experience to that alchemist all right 
Alchemist is one of those strange heroes um, that I normally don't see with Night Elf all that much as the primary hero. The reason being is because the Alchemist, well, has a large amount of hit points and a large amount of mana. And because of that, it often drains all of your moon wells much much too quickly its downside is that it doesn't have a good amount of strength sock or sorry a good amount of armor that uh, sock now coming back across here does pick up a goblin shredder which will be returning home mountain king staying at level three we are well perhaps taking the tier two already that is now done alchemist going after this creep camp here it is a solo hero right now so it does gain that little bit of experience boost for being at tier two meanwhile are we seeing um yeah the mountain king is only getting up a town or is only at town hall so no experience boost there mountain king does pick up true shot or a goblin tinker all right so goblin Alch um, uh, goblin alchemist followed up by the tinker as the one and two hero combination as we're going to see some engagement coming in anyway oh big thunderclap right there massive damage across all of those units as one archer getting taken down oh cluster rockets missing their target stormbolt is the mountain king going to be able to get away yes it will scroll of town portal used in time to get up to level four uh, thank you for the follow as the mountain king well dodges a bullet there this is Reforge, the classic version. Everyone uses it except when Blizzard forces tournaments to um, goblin heroes representing. Um, well, I personally, um, I'm, well, people have been asking me, why do I use a classic, classic graphics? And I actually found a legitimate reason to use classic graphics, um, especially in, in scenes like this. When okay. units are walking around, um, I find that the classic graphics, they, they actually don't blur. Um, when you're when you're actually streaming because of the higher uh, DPI and because of the higher um, well, the grass moving and all of those things as well it actually makes it less enjoyable for me to watch a, a reforged graphics because when someone moves it, it takes like another three seconds before things actually get in focus anyways let's come back down across over here chemical rage you see a uh, well goblin tinker with those rockets right there are we going to see an acid bomb a mountain king down to 200 or 171 hit points damage coming through and the tinker unable to get that necessary damage we're looking at a couple of footmen perhaps getting finished off here the tinkers um, sh um, shot and attack that rocket is actually a skill shot not like a storm ball coming in from the mountain king and because of that well the goblin tinker was lining up against that mountain king to stun him but the mountain king ran out of that range thank you i didn't know there was a new classic version well this is still reforged so all of the batch notes everything here um like the patch notes um, are all up to date. It is just using the reforged. Um, it is not using the reforged graphics. It is using, well, the most up to date patches, though. Um, how do you access it? Is it a reforged game? Adjust the setting? Yes, it is. I can show you a little bit later in between the matches. Alchemist picking up an item here, getting up to level four. We see a number of dryads out onto the field. Meanwhile, Mountain King making his way over Goblin Zeppelin overhead here. Both sides sitting at two bases, but well, La Liette has not yet set up his expansion. All right, without his expansion um, up and running, the Entangled Gold Mine, he is a little bit behind economically speaking, but should be able to close that gap momentarily. Meanwhile, the tech to tier two for Sock about to be completed, and we should be looking at perhaps some sorceresses as well as the mountain king are they gonna fly the unfriendly skies and make their way back across here the dryads overhead and sock doing a great job making sure to well be difficult to spot there is an archer right there is it gonna spot anything yes getting in some damage there is some damage alchemist if you did not know has the ability to attack air even if it doesn't have an orb that is the difference right there the goblin alchemist um, always acts as though he has an orb even though he is normally melee he is able to attack air units Alchemist plus Tinker got to be the first time I've seen this in a game. That is definitely the case. True Shot Aura being dropped for the Goblin Tinker as well. So the Dryads and Archers really going to be benefiting here. And if the Alchemist goes for a level 3 Acid Bomb, well, the negative armor debuff would actually become very, very high. Um, so far, we can see that, well, that Cluster Rockets stunning all of those units temporarily. It doesn't stun for very long. Um, well, com especially compared to the Torin Chieftain's stun now, as well as you level up further, perhaps that stun will get longer and longer. Tome of Strength plus two picked up by the Alchemist to get in a little bit more damage as well. 
50 supply compared to 49. Sock, actually the one with a large amount of gold. We'll see how he spends his gold here in just a moment as he wants to translate that gold into some sort of, well, tactical advantage on the battlefield, getting into low upkeep finally. Meanwhile, Lala yet will perhaps hang back, stay at 50 supply a little while longer. Nope, decides to go into low upkeep already and is going to be making a move soon. All right, you can see the Druid of the Claw uh, getting in some extra damage there. Goblin Zeppelin, well, completely empty. That is more of a scouting play here. And hats off to Lala. Lalayette um, for knowing what exactly is up and knowing that he doesn't have to worry about that Goblin Zeppelin. Other people could have been fooled by that play. All uh, right. Yeah, mortar teams and riflemen, very important in the matchup. Now dealing with dryads and, well, dr dealing with those dryads in that back line, even though uh, fragmentation stars did get a little bit of a nerf, it is still a very, very powerful ability once. Um, well, once you stop comparing it to the power of yesteryears, from those yesteryears. Mountain King still sitting at level 4. Archmage, well, having Brilliance Aura first. So we are not going to be looking at any Water Elementals. There's a big stun across all of those units here. As we can see, well, who gets the ex oh, gold? Gold is given to Lala yet. Meanwhile, Goblin Tinker in a little bit of trouble. There is some more stunning right there. Damage coming back across. Squirrel of Town Portal being used. Dryad's now trying to head back away. Are they going to be able to get that Squirrel of Town Portal? Yes, they will. Mountain King finishes off everything else right there as Sokka goes in with a large number of footmen with defend he will be able to fend off against those dryads and archers fairly well and on top of that we are looking at a well a mortar team or two already being added in here for some reason mountain king is going to get up to well mountain king going to be getting up to level five first i'm trying to finish off the, that creep camp there it goes mountain king is now at five on the dot and we are looking at Sock setting up an expansion over here on the bottom left at pretty much the same time La Layette is over here on the top right. Things underway. Well, there is still that bug. There is nothing here, even though it shows on the minimap. We are looking at the Alchemist sitting at level 4 and Mountain Giants also added in as well. Mountain Giants have become a main staple in the Night Elf army um, as of late. 1600 hit points and well having to go for melee units to try and finish them off they do their job and they do it very well absorbing a lot of damage and on top of that if you have two staffs of preservation it feels like they just never die uh, coming back through on the other side, Mountain King, seen it at level 5, does have the Archmage with Brilliance Aura trying to back up. And are we going to see perhaps a Thunderclap? Thunderclap not going to do very much there as we are looking at the Dryads causing a lot of problems. There's that Thunderclap right there as the Fairy Dragons are in position. Are we going to see Mana Flare? Yes, we are. Units are now trying to make their way back out. Flying Machines going after the Fairy Dragons. Fairy Dragons taking a fair bit of damage, but they are also under the cover of Healing Wards. So that is going to keep them alive and well too. There goes in another Thunderclap as well. And it looks like those Flying Machines are just been trying to fight away are they finally going to be able to finish one off? Yes, it does take quite a bit of time though as the mortar teams able to do get some free attacks in from the back. All right, more damage coming back in. Mountain Giants continuing to just get in more and more. Um, well, it looked like they were trying to stun the flying machines in the air. I don't believe the rockets actually um, work out that way as the flying machines are going to get taken down. Here is another healing ward. Mountain King unable to get, on to, um, get into that healing ward in that backline spot as we are looking at the fairy dragons and all of these other units continue to heal 81 supply compared to 73 mana flare coming back across the scout tower is not even being upgraded as we're looking at the chemical raging um, alchemist getting up to level five all right level three acid bomb now in play acid bomb going to finish off one priest before it leaves mountain king taking a little bit of damage as well but it looks like it is going to be healed back up scout tower is now taken down expansion over here on the top right is well fully entangled socks expansion over here is now going to get up and running and will be fully saturated as well so acid acid bomb plus a stun both of those working out um, extremely uh, well pretty well here with the healing wards making a very big impact on the game the fairy dragons with their additional armor constantly being healed um, made it very very tough for them to actually get shot down by those flying machines um, coming with that said and done though the mountain giants perhaps would have 
um, would have benefited from the healing wards even more since it is a percentage based here heal and I do not believe we have any more healing wards on the alchemist or the goblin tinker the next fight is not going to be nearly as beneficial for La Lai et without that powerful item but and the mountain king is well sitting at level five and the archmage is still sitting at level one even after a battle going up against your opponent and that is well relatively scary if all of us if you try to battle up against your opponent well and in come some mortar teams well just shooting across the river so to speak get able to get in that damage and well stop entangling this gold mine meanwhile back down across on this side there is a roar acid bomb um, are we going to see perhaps rockets come back here arcane tower removing much of the mana from that alchemist here as damage is still adding through this is going to be a trade of bases so to speak as the tree or the arcane tower is still getting in a, a well removing a lot of mana finally removing it from the goblin tinker instead all of these guard towers will end up falling as the squirrel of town portal now coming in to try and protect and save mountain king where where are they going to go? Are we going to see some taunts? Um, we should be looking at a taunt. There you go. Mountain King and the Rifleman turning back around temporarily. Uh, so far, though, Alchemist still has a good amount of mana. Mountain King trying to make its way over here. Scout Tower, Arcane Tower going to be coming to an end. Mana Flare is up and running. And there is a couple of towers here causing a bit of problems. Alchemist losing its mana pretty quick. Needs to perhaps find a way as a Thunderclap goes down. Slowing down many of those uh, mountain or those bears. Those bears were seem to be attacking so slow between um thunderclap and the slow from the sorceresses as the well mountain giants need to back away so far though dryads could be trying to go after these flying machines here flying machines still trying to pick apart these fairy dragons as peasants now making their way back over to build a arcane vault and perhaps get a little bit of coverage okay mountain giants saved at seven hit points of course it is staff of frustration ideal i dealt 15 193 points of damage to a unit and then all i have to show for it is a 30 second cooldown on a staff of preservation we should be looking at some rejuvenations onto that mountain giant right there he drank a lot from those moon wells that could potentially be a problem these druids of the claw need to go back into drew of four and perhaps hide inside the base for a little bit both sides um, have lost their their what third base and the main bases are going to be mined out in just well over an under five minutes as this game continues and both sides sit on their on their natural expansion well lalaya in, in much much more trouble since he did end up losing this expansion here so it is one bases one base versus two as sock takes a major economic advantage and now looking to continue that advantage as well 75 supply compared to 69 sock with that slight advantage the fight is going to be brought over and with these bridges right in these locations well a new mountain giant getting added in with these bridges positioned the way they are two mortar teams um if as long as they're constantly firing from the back can well get in a lot of a lot of damage without having to worry all that much fly machines are going to scout out this bottom oh, left hand side of the map here in just a moment as the town hall is well being built um, with two additional peasants a staff of frustration archmage does get up to level two does go for blizzard over water elementals a couple of flying machines going to get scouted out here but as you know flying machines do not um oh are we going to see a flying machine get taken down yes we are flying machines do not get affected by that slow poison since they are mechanical units um, units now trying to continue to make their way back we see a oh, no no expansion here once again the mini map has tricked me um as the units are going to make their rounds again 80 supply compared to 78 sock has one 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 upgrades compared to three two upgrades on the night elf army la Et also has superior hero levels but how is that going to actually translate as the mortar teams here what two mortar teams going to provide plenty of uh, insight mountain giants need to make their way over a acid bomb going to be incredibly important orb of venom as well goblin tinker trying to make its way here mountain king is in that front line spot and where are we going to see a thunderclap there you are there's a little bit of damage slow poison onto that mountain king mountain king going to be well taking a lot of damage here as you see that orb of venom and slow poison coming back across are we going to see a storm bolt onto the um, well alchemist no we are not it is it does have storm bolt but well um, been using and saving that mana for Thunderclap instead. 
this expansion on the bottom left is currently mining away. Sock is currently mining from three gold mines for the next two minutes, then we'll be dropping down to two. La Layette needs to find a way to hold hold his ground, perhaps trade efficiently, and otherwise things are going to go from bad to worse as this game unravels. All right, there's that Mountain King with that Thunderclap. A blizzard now raining down Archmage along the backside, and we see the Goblin Tinker with well a big stun onto that Archmage once more. All right, are we going to see some more stunning again as the Tinker is trying to find go after some of those units? There is more stuns on those units again as the Alchemist with Acid Bomb finishing off unit after unit. Blizzard is still raining down, causing a lot of problems as the Alchemist is perhaps going to go after some of those other units as well. Multiple Thunderclaps. Thunderclaps dealing the most amount of damage I've seen in quite a while. As the Acid... Uh, is there a Departing Acid Bomb? No. No Departing Acid Bomb, but a Mountain Giant doesn't make it and will be, well, returning to the Earth. Back over here, Tree of Eternity... Uh, all of these moon wells are rather low. 75 supply compared to 71. La Et is in a great... Actually, no, Sock is in a great shape to take down La Et as it is one base to two bases right now. The question is going to be, can the Alchemist get to level 6? If the Alchemist gets to level 6, all bets are off as the Alchemist will just constantly have mana and constantly be trying to transmute spell breakers spell breakers then become fairly um well cost effect or the transmute just will shut them down time and time again and well that just starts to become a even bigger and bigger deal spell breakers well, a, a big unit, a big unit to be wary of right now, as the spellbreakers are immune to the acid bomb and also immune to um, the the rocket, the cluster rockets that the Goblin Tinker has been using to try and shut things down. Seventy three supply compared to eighty, uh, and pretty much Sock is um, baiting Lalaet to attack into an well an unfortunate location here. Arcane Tower gonna get taken down right there. Mountain King, well no Sentry wards to reveal that the Mountain King is spotted right there. More damage coming back through. Mountain King is it gonna try and do anything? Mortar teams coming back across, and there you go. You see a little bit of damage as the units are pulling back again. All right, there is a reveal. Mountain King is right there. There is a, a abolished magic removing that Mountain King. There is some, well, a quick stun onto those flying machines. Very difficult to actually stun flying machines with the cluster rockets because of how it is positioned. I'm thinking, why does transmute work on spellbreakers? Because um, they want ultimate abilities to uh, to still actually be useful. Um, otherwise, if you I hear I have this great spell, I spent all of this time and energy upgrading and playing this beautiful game to get my hero up to level six. And my opponent has a bunch of units that I cannot transmute unless I dive past all of these spell breakers. It's a balance issue. All right. Cannon Tower is now being constructed here. Mountain King is there. Um, yes, Possession also does work. Blizzard now raining down as well. Um, at least the single target ones. Healing Spray being used on the bear right there. Storm, Boar, and a follow-up Thunderclap. A bear getting taken down. Units are now trying to make their way back once more. How, how about the Undead? <laughs> uh, we do not speak of the Undead ultimate abilities. Their, their normal abilities are good enough. Well, no, I, I, Cripplord, Cripplord's, um, what, carry, uh, Locust Swarm, uh, is, is useful. All right, Town Hall still mining off over here. The main gold mine has been mined out. This one has been mined out here as well. Entangling this gold mine is impossible due to the mortar teams just constantly lobbing attacks against this entangled gold mine. And at this point, La Layette is mining from zero bases compared to, um, compared to, what? Oh, one base compared to two right now as we're going into high upkeep again. Here comes a big battle. Mana Flare ready to, uh, ready to be used here. The flying machines are going to try and engage. Rockets going after and stunning many of those units there, but that damage isn't really that high. Healing Spray still being used. Are we going to see Avatar of Avatar coming in from that Mountain King as both sides are still fighting in? In comes another giant stun across many flying machines as the Mana Flare is still incredibly important to try and slow things down a bit. All right, there goes another Thunderclap Mountain Giant significantly slowed. Mana Flare in the backside. Are they going to be able to save any of these fairy dragons here? Trying to go after some of those units. Moving forward and Mana Flaring again. Sorceresses and Priests having a difficult time trying to use any of those spells. Every time they cast, 
more problems are coming up as you see Blizzard now raining down and destroying this front line of Druids of the Claw. All right, a couple of rejuvenations on these Druids of the Claw from the behind, and then we should be looking at them turning into bears. Uh, is the reinforcement going to be enough, though, as we are seeing more and more damage adding in? All right, Al uh, Fairy, or what is this? The Alchemist sitting at level 5 using level 3 healing spray. If it had tried to use Acid Bomb on some of that back line, it may have actually worked here as the, well, Fairy Dragons are going to go ahead and Mana Flare once more, causing problems. All right, Mana Flare coupled with um, coupled with those rockets are dealing so much damage as the Archmage gonna get to level 3. One night a little bit overzealous as the Alchemist gets to level 6 and says thank you for all the fish. Alright, 245 <laughs> gold right there. There's the transmute and that is on a 1 minute cooldown or is that a 45 second cooldown? So every 45 seconds it can, it's, it can steal a knight and that is um, what a uh, 245 that is a uh, what a 490 gold swing as you get 245 gold and you take away 245 gold from your opponent that's actually more efficient than typical mining at this point in time in the game level six ultimate ability from the Al alchemist can swing games and we'll see if that is going to continue to hold true as the tree of eternity now taking well getting bombarded here all right alchemist has enough ma has has the ability to do another transmute is he gonna do it there goes another transmute right there getting a little bit more gold mortar teams are getting in all of that damage where is the fairy dragons fairy dragons are there as well more healing grade coming back across to try and save all of those units again 35 second left cooldown as the goblin tinker once again able to get off another set of cluster rockets and now getting up to level three level three cluster rockets gonna come online where are they gonna go along the backside there damage going across all of those priests once more as the alchemist well a little bit low on mana will it be able to um, get another transmute off that is the question as a couple of priests or a couple of um, units are getting taken down there's a holy light but it looks like the holy light actually took down the sorceress as another acid bomb goes down to finish off more of those units all right uh, is the acid bomb going to finish any of these units here low hit point 20 hit points no starting to get healed up by the remaining priest and using a scroll of regeneration alchemist sitting at level six has mana perhaps wants to buy a potion of mana as well or another clarity potion it is low on mana relatively and wants to be able to transmute again ancient of war has well snuck on in and is starting to deal damage to the uh, bases down to the south if this does turn into some sort of base race Sock no longer in the demand or in the commanding position he was moments ago. He has now fallen behind due to the power of transmute. And well, is the, if that alchemist continues to just get enough mana, he should be able to be fine. He needs those clarity potions. He needs to drink some moonwell juice, and that should um, hold him over. As we are going into well even though it says it's only 1 30 in the afternoon and it but the sign says it's nightfall i don't believe that is right but the alchemist is now back up again as we're seeing well mortar teams doing what they do best here on um Terranistan, completely shutting down expansions trying to be built and well this may be enough for sock to macro up enough units and take the the lead it is one base to one base. A tree of life being built down here. This Ancient of War actually um, shutting down the expansion here before the gold mine was destroyed. One, The Ancient of War dealing so much damage and now taking down some of the farms as well. Wisps are making their way over as a battle now overhead here. Trying to finish off this um, well, arcane tower. Mountain King, Avatar. There you go. There is a major thunderclap coming across. There is Blizzard as well, followed by thunderclap. All of these bears could get taken down in a moment as healing spray is being used rather, rather quickly to keep all of these bears alive and well. Healing spray trying to counteract the blizzard that is raining down on the Archmage as a Staff of Preservation may need to be used. Mountain King is currently surrounded by a, an army of bears and mountain giants, and the Avatar is down to 120 hit points and be saved by a Staff of Sanctuary. Staff of Sanctuary saving the day right there. There's another stun going along the backside here as so many low hit point bears are in trouble. There are a couple of cannon towers, though. Cannon towers very, very powerful as the bears are now slowly marching their way on through, trying to finish things 
off. Sorceress Spellbreaker is now making their way in additional guard towers to the south. What is going on? La Layette really overextend or extending himself here. Is it going to be an overextend or is it going to be a brilliant, brilliant play? That is the question as I don't believe there's any more scrolls of healing and Sock has left the game. La Layette is victorious, getting to level 6 on that Goblin Alchemist being able to transmute a couple of a night some spell breakers and well really just start to take that economic lead thanks for watching thanks for listening um i hope you guys enjoyed it that ancient of war actually was the mvp yeah it's it snuck all the way down there and was destroying multiple buildings um sock was trying to uh, well fight his opponent while holding on to his expansion at the top right and ended up giving his him an expansion on the bottom left that was the problem and well once once there was a couple of efficient trades um that's all that really could be done the fact that excuse me the, the fact is that a spider yeah that's a spider the fact that um the the healing spray was at level three and it was able to counteract the the blizzard from the archmage so much healing had been going on between scrolls of healing and healing spray that um i, I think those bears just would not fall gg well played